The dashboard is the central hub for navigation around your account. From here you can access main elements with ease. We are going to explore this further during this screencast. On My Profile, you are able to add and amend information such as your name and mobile phone number. Just remember to click Save Changes to make sure that any amendments you make are saved. When changing your password, first enter your existing password and then enter a new password. You will need to confirm your new password before clicking Update Password to confirm these changes. Any messages you receive will be displayed in My Messages. The main page contains an overview of the placement ratings. Choose the placement you wish to view in more detail and click the plus symbol. You will be able to see how many students have already submitted their evaluation and how many are still outstanding. The results that are displayed are for submitted evaluations and allow you to see the percentage of respondents who have submitted respective answers. For example, here you can see that in the support section of the evaluation, 47.6% of the seven respondents strongly agreed with the questions asked. Each of the tabs represents a group of questions from the evaluation. To view a breakdown of the answers, move through the tabs. First select the placement that you wish to view from the list. You can sort through responses based on the response type. For example, by selecting Strongly Agree, you will be able to view any question within the evaluation that has had feedback submitted by students. You can move across the tabs to view the different sections of the evaluation. When students answer a question, disagree or strongly disagree, they cannot progress without leaving feedback. Again, responses will display under the relevant section tab. You can see how many responses have been left in relation to each question by looking for the number in a green circle on the right hand side of the question. To view the submitted feedback, click the plus symbol. You can minimise the response by clicking the plus symbol again. To manage user accounts, select the relevant department from the drop-down box and type a name into the search box. This will display any user with this name. You can then click into their account and edit any details that you wish to edit. 